And will you have sex with me on a first date? No. What about I like to have many wives. Mm. You like to have three wives? Yeah, polygamy. You can't have me alone. Do you remember how your first orgasm felt like? Or like no. You don't remember? I don't remember. I'm too busy to work for that. Does that mean you get it often? No. Then how come you don't remember? Suspicious. And do you believe uh, in sex before marriage or after marriage? I don't believe in sex before marriage. So it should be after marriage? Yeah, so I'm willing to do whatsoever I can do with my woman to push her um, to the next level. Yeah, to the next level, yeah. And I'm gonna be there during the ups and downs, all right? I don't want a woman who, who has too much. I just want a woman who is contented and is willing to have a lot more with me, not high alone. I want to be her strength. I want to be her father. I want to be her husband. So I just want to, I just want her to be the woman and let me be the man and let things move on. Okay, and if you get married, how do you intend to treat your man? To treat a man? Yeah. I'll treat him the way I treat my father because I treat my father with love, respect, and I adore him, you know. I respect my father, so I think that same way I'm going to treat the man. You sound like a very cool and beautiful person, like you're racing on my anxiety. I feel honey right now just wanting to see you. Welcome to The Blind Date, a show where two strangers go on a blind date with the hopes of forming a deeper connection and falling in love. Whilst on the date, they will talk on different topics ranging from marriage, career, red flags and hobbies and at the end of the date, they will decide if they want to go on a second date or not. Please subscribe to our channel, we are trying to hit 5000 subscribers before the end of the month. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm good. I am. I'm okay. You sound beautiful. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm happy to be here. It's a beautiful day. <clears throat> happy to be here too. Okay. So tell me, what's your name? Um, I'm so Stephanie by name. And you? Uh, my name is Bison, Bison Betran. Yeah, you we'll call me Baby. Come All right. That's great. And how old are you? I'm 25 and you? Oh, uh, I'm 27. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, and where do you live? I live in Lokum, Duala. Oh, we live in the same area. Wow, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's nice. So we're neighbors even, probably. Yeah. So where's your family? Are they here? No, they are in Mafe. Oh, Mafe? The issue, yeah. Oh, okay. Hope they're doing fine. Father and mother? Yeah, all good. Are oh. you? Um, my parents are in and out. They're all around. <laughs> ben, that's nice. Okay, okay. So tell me, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have six siblings. Wow. What about you? Uh, I have three. That's cool. All right, so you said you're firstborn. Yeah, I'm the firstborn. What firstborn Wahala. What about you? Uh, I'm the secondborn, actually, and I have two siblings. That's so, cool. yeah, not too much pressure like the first bonds. I know first bonds are always very stubborn. I hope you're not stubborn. <laughs> yeah, they are. We'll see about that. I can't. Okay, okay, that's interesting. So, um, tell me, tell me about your religion. What do you believe in? And I'm a, just tell mm, me a little bit. A Catholic. Oh, Catholic. Yeah. Okay. And you go to church every Sunday or <laughs> once a year? No, not that I go once a year, just that my work is, um, I work on schedule, so there are Sundays I go to church, there are Sundays I'm at work, so what about you? Mm, I go to church rarely, but I believe in God. I hope you do too. I do believe in God. Who doesn't? Yo, do you read the Bible? I don't know the Bible. I don't have a Bible. Oh, okay. What about you? Do you have a Bible? I do have a Bible, yeah. I'm not, oh. I'm not a church type, but I mean, but I do read the Bible. I believe in the Word. Okay. Okay. So what tribe are you? 
Kaya may bayan yan. Ah, ah, mano. <laughs> ba bayan yan. They like to do. <laughs> ah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, that's what we know. <clears throat> I'm a bayan yan too. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nah. <laughs> what do you say? I say nah. Nah, ever, ever. Is that correct? Yeah, I think that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um. Have you been on the blind date before? Ah, uh, no, this is my first. Me too. This is my first. Mm. Why did you come here? Everybody comes here for a reason and for a purpose to find love, to find someone responsible, someone serious. So that's why I'm here. So you've never met love before? Uh, I would say I've never met love before. I have, but things didn't go out that good, so I'm ah, going to try on it again. So I guess you're searching for better things? Searching for better things. Okay. And I get it today. Oh, uh, that's great. Let's see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so you're welcome, okay? Welcome to. Yeah, and I, and I hope to see you. Uh, I believe, I hope we get along, and I also hope uh, you're beautiful, you're my spec kind of a thing. Hopefully. I'm also here for love, and I want what's good. You know, love nowadays is so scared, so I believe here is the right place. So tell me, what do you do for a living, baby girl? Um, I'm a hairstylist by profession. Oh. Oh. And I work in a boulangerie for the moment. Oh. What about you? I'm more into marketing. Okay. Yeah. Business management and branding as well. So you say you're a hairstylist. I know those people have a lot of money. I hope you do. Yeah. Okay. I love women's money. <laughs> I love me with one Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Eating your money, not mine, Sha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, one last question. What's your height? Um, 158. Hmm? 158. 158? Yeah. Oh, so I'm taller than you because I'm 170 something. That's cool. I love okay. taller guys, I think. Okay. And what's your weight? Ah, uh, it's been a while. I haven't like. I don't know, like 60 something to 70. Oh, because I love them thick and chubby. Oh, okay. <laughs> we saw right. that. Okay, that's nice. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so tell me a little bit more about your lifestyle. Okay. Mm. This food smells good. <clears throat> <clears throat> about my lifestyle. Yeah. What do you do for fun? Like I said, I do. I love swimming. Mm -hmm. I love clubbing. Though I don't drink, but I just okay. want to dance. Like, just have fun. Oh, really? How about you? Um, for fun, I just love being alone. And but, I love home. Mm -hmm. I don't like much more. I don't like more about outdoor. Okay. Are you right. an extrovert or an introvert? Uh, I'm both. <laughs> sometimes I think a lot, sometimes I feel like not just thinking. What about you? Do you think a lot? You know, I think I'm both too. You think you're what? I'm both. You're all? Yeah, I'm both of them. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Why? Because that's how it's supposed to be. That is how I am. Are you a loner? You love being alone? Mm, not all the time. All right. The majority of my time, I don't like being alone. Because when I sit alone, I think a lot. Okay. And do you have friends? Male or female? Not really. But I have female and male friends, but not that much. Okay. What about you? I don't make a lot of friends because I don't like when there are a lot of people into my circle. So I just love just me, my close ones, or my loved person. <laughs> okay. Do you watch Netflix? Yeah, I do. Oh. So you love movies? I love movies too. Okay. Series or action movies? I love both. Like this novella stuff, you know. Action, like, I mean, everything, as long as the, the series is like interesting. Novellas? Yeah, I love it. All right. Okay. So have you traveled out of Douala or Cameroon? Yeah, I've been in and out of the country um, a few times. Uh, but I love being here. Mm. Yeah, I love my country so much. What about you? I'm a homer. Oh, really? Yeah, I've traveled. Interesting. So, in Cameroon, I haven't traveled out yet. Mm -hmm. Where have you been in Cameroon? Yeah, I'm there, Bafusan, Kribi, Limbe. Okay. Boyam, Umba. Okay. What do you do after work? I go home, sleep, rest, 
prepare for the next day to go to work. Okay. Do you cook? Mm. Mm. I love cooking. You love cooking? Mm -hmm. I like that. What about you? Can you cook? Um, yeah, I do. I do cook and I love cooking for my woman because I love to serve breakfast in bed. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Mm. So, um, do you live alone? No, I live with family. Live with family? Mm-hmm. For the moment. All right. What about you? No, I live alone. Yeah. I've been independent for the past 10 years, so... Okay. Mm hmm That's lovely. All right, so tell me a little bit. Where do you see yourself uh, or where do you find yourself in the next five years? In the next five years, I uh -huh. see myself as my own personal brand salon. Oh. Like name on it. Boss lady, I like that. So, that's why I see myself in five years' time. I like that. So, yeah. I love a hustler woman. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Um, well, I see myself owning a very huge enterprise and being a man of my home, my wife and, and a kid at, at least. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's good. Mm -hmm. So what motivated you to, to do hair styling? Because I love it. Oh, because you love it? Yeah, I love it. Okay, and you did a professional training? Not really, because I paid for my, for my work, so I did my possible best to to like afford Okay. Yeah. So. All right, that's good. And do you, are you winning in it already? Are you doing fine? Yeah, I'm doing fine for the moment. Okay. So tell me, do you like shopping? Yeah, every woman loves shopping. I love shopping. Everyone? I love shopping. I love shopping. Yeah, do you love designers? Yeah, I do. All right. Okay, interesting. Okay, for me, um, I love when life is simple uh, and my woman, if we can live, um, we can enjoy the best of the basic things. Yeah, we, we shouldn't look uh, more into designer stuff. And, but what is fine, it's your choice, so I can't judge you. All right, so tell me, do you plan on getting married someday? Yeah, I plan on getting married. Who is your ideal man? My ideal man? Yeah. Some are respectful. Okay. Responsible. Okay. Humble. Mm hmm Yeah. All right. And what age do you plan on getting married? Like in three or four years' time. Three or four years' time? Yeah. Okay. So how long do you think people should date before they engage into marriage? Mm, I think like a year, a year or a year and a half, like. Isn't that too small? Are you sure? That's my opinion. What about you? Uh, uh, for me, a year is too small. I think um, at least two, three years. Okay. So you could get to know the person and you could get to decide, you know. You so, know. yeah, for me, a year is just a few months in and you could still be drowning in your emotions and you're not really certain about this person. So I think um, in 24 months and above, you could really decide, okay, this is a person I can deal with. You've known the good and the bad side a little bit, so. Okay, uh, can I can I can I say something? Yeah. You can never know someone in three years. You never know someone, so that's it. You can stay there for like three months and get married, and the marriage lasts. And you can stay there for with, with with someone like for four years, and you guys get married. You think you know the person, but you don't know the person, and the marriage could collapse. So it's not about the the elongation of the relationship that you understand. Mm -hmm. So. Well, from, from, from studies, I know in most cases of early marriages, from knowing some, uh, someone um, early, they don't last long because emotions are still playing a whole part of it. For me, I just think when the feeling is real, when everything is real, everything just works. That okay. Be. All right. Marriage is just paper, signing, whatever, just ceremony. But when the feeling is mutual, mm -hmm. I think everything is going to work well. Okay. And do... And do you believe uh, in sex before marriage or after marriage? I don't believe in sex before marriage or after marriage. That uh, what? I don't believe in sex before marriage. So it should be after marriage? No, <coughs> I don't believe in sex after marriage. Oh. Yeah. I you believe before marriage it could still work? Something like that? Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. I like that. All right. So um, how many kids do you, do you dream of having when you get married? 
four kids. Oh, four. Yeah. Okay, that's a good number. What about you? Um, at least three, but at most five. So three to five. It could be four. It could be five. It could be three. Mm? Okay. All right. It's cool. Yeah, and do you li and do you love male or female children? I love kids. I don't care about the gender. Okay, you don't care about the gender. Okay, kids that's are nice. from God, so you don't choose the gender. <laughs> okay, that's nice. And would you like a big wedding or a small kind of wedding? About a wedding, I don't know. All right. No, maybe <laughs> just something like really classy, like just me not classy, you know. Okay, and if you get married, how do you intend to treat your man? To treat a man? Yeah. I'll treat him the way I treat my father, because I treat my father with love, respect, and I adore him, you know. I respect my father, so I think that's the same way I'm going to treat the man. Because getting married to you, it, it's going to be your responsibility as my father. So if I'm disrespecting my father, it means I'm obviously going to disrespect my husband. So as long as I'm respecting my father, it means obviously when I get married, I would definitely respect my husband. Wow, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I like that. It sounds beautiful. Thank you. What's your name again? Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie. Oh, you're a beautiful woman. I love your heart. Thank you. Oh, I'm trying to make some decisions already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stephanie. <clears throat> so what do you prefer, joint account or separate account? <sighs> that's a hard one there. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about finance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Cash palaver with women is a is a is a different deal. Yeah. Um, well, I believe in a joint account for what we plan for for the projects we have ahead ahead of us, being together, projects towards our children, the whole family, and I will still advise that we have personal accounts for our own personal interests so that and for security purposes. Yeah, no, not even security purpose. It's just that to to satisfy some other interest that isn't really a priority to the other partner so that we shouldn't get things choked up along the way. You understand what I mean? Yeah, I think yeah, I agree. Yeah, so I think that's a more better and a more um, reasonable way to live in peace because that aspect of everything joining up in one place is a lot of issues. Yeah, I agree. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Okay. <laughs> Do you have any kids? Yeah. Oh, wow. I have a daughter, a beautiful one at that. That's nice. How old? She is a year and 10 months. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, still early. Yeah. Okay. Do you live with her? You no, know, she's with her granny. Oh, why? So that means if we if have a kid, my kid is not going to live with you if I'm not around? Is that what it means? No, it's not, it's not, it's not that. I would love, I would love raising my kids but there are some circumstances in life that you just have to like you know yeah and then anyway for me um i love kids so much no matter the circumstances no matter how what happened it's a blessing for me and mm -hmm. i believe that as a good parent as a responsible parent you should be with your kid no matter what you should try to put everything in place to make sure you groom you raise your kid on your own so I would like to have a kid and the kid is being raised with um, a grandparent or another family member. That's not safe for me, for the child's mental health and well-being. Yeah, I know, but uh, living with her grandmother is not strange. Her, her, her grandmother is not a stranger, you know? Yeah, I understand, I understand. So, yeah, I agree with you, I agree with you. It's not, it's like, you know, you have to raise your child the way you want them to be, but okay. that's what it is. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what do you what are the things you look for in a woman? I'm like, I am not very complex. I'm very simple. Uh, I love a lot of respect and I love listening a lot. So I like a woman who is open that can express in a very respectful way. And uh, I love privacy. I love a woman who understands the importance and the impact of privacy to her and her partner. Okay. Yeah, I love a woman who understands what it means to have a man, to be with a man. Yeah, okay. I want a woman who is willing, ready to make money. Obviously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we can't survive on this earth without money. Back. Yeah, so I'm willing to do whatsoever I can do with my woman to push her uh, to the next level. Yeah, to the next level. Yeah, and I'm gonna be there during the ups and downs. All right. I don't want a woman who, who has too much. I just want a woman 
who is contented and is willing to have a lot more with me, not high alone. I want to be a strength. I want to be a father. I want to be a husband. So I just want to, I just want her to be the woman and let me be the man and let things move on. Oh, I love it. All right. I love it. I love it. Okay. okay what I look for in a man. Mm -hmm. um, what I look for in a man. I just want a supportive partner and yeah. a understanding partner. Okay. So I set me for mm. who I am. All right. You know, why well, just be there, you should be attentionate, like, even if you're busy, I know you could get busy, but you can't be too busy for someone you love. That's true. I'm busy, but I will always create time for someone I love, like, even if it's like, hi, I'm busy, I'll text you later, I'll call you later, stuff like that, so. Try it. All right. That's it. All right. Do you, do you have besties, this thing they call bestie? Besties. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have besties. All right, that's good, besties. because I hate that stuff. I don't like besties, so. <laughs> Why do you want to have your, your children? Um, I want to have my children here in Cameroon. Yeah. Or oh, well, let me say, um, any, no matter wherever I have my children, I want to raise my children here back home because um, uh, I believe my culture, I love the way I was raised, and I believe I can better raise my children here than overseas. So, what about you? Um... I don't know. It depends on where I'm going to have my kids. Anywhere I have my kids, I'm okay. But I love having them in my country because, like, let me say, my country is more respectful, like, about the culture too, like, the way kids can be brought up here with respect, you know. Mm -hmm. So I love it here. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. That's interesting. All right. And let me ask this other question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know it's a, a little bit tricky or something. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, are you the kind of woman that is cool? That is cool. That is cool, calm, and savage at the back end? Uh, or you're just a missionary kind of a woman? Let me say, I, uh, I get angry, like, quickly, like, I react, then later I be like, oh, how did I know? Mm. You like, you know. I like that. It's attractive. But, but after, after realizing, after realizing my mistake, like, the way I, I behaved, I could come for apology, like, babe, understand, stuff like that. Okay. I got upset, like, I just did. All right. And so, are you a jealous kind of a woman? Ah, I'm jealous. Very, 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 very. Oh, I like that. I love women that are jealous. They love too much. <laughs> okay. Why are you a jealous man? Yeah, I'm a very jealous man, but I have self-control. Okay. I could be very jealous, but you never notice because, yeah. My face lies a lot. Okay. <laughs> but it doesn't mean I die. I lie a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, for me, the most interesting thing about marriage is all about understanding and communication. And everybody wants happiness. Everybody wants that safe space, that beautiful place, that that uh, that 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 hug from that person. And oh my God. yeah, and I already understand what it is. I've had several relationships, but not too much. How many have you? How many relationships have I had? Yeah, in the past. I think I'm going to answer that after the show. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've had a couple of them, and I came to really understand who women are, who they, who they, uh, what they want, uh, their desires, uh, how they, they, they play a lot with their emotions. So I understand better how to treat my woman. Oh, yeah. Hope you're gonna treat me well, though. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna give it to you, Lee. Trust me. Mwah. I can't wait for that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, it was a beautiful time with you. I, I really can't wait to see who you are. You sound like a very cool and beautiful person. Like you're raising up my anxiety. I feel honey right now, just wanting to see you. Thank you. Yeah. So, are you an alcoholic? No. Okay. I like that because I'm not an alcoholic. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what are the things that turn you off in a woman? Um, when she's boring in bed. Oh, so like being bored, what do you describe like bored in bed? Um, ah, because she can't please that part of me um, very well, like the way I, I expect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So, mm, 
Do you like jealousy or controlling behavior in a man? I like an understanding person. Understanding person. It's not someone that is understanding. You don't have to just be jealous because you know. You so wait, wait, wait. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't get it right. Do you want me to act jealous or I should be controlling? I think you should be controlling. For okay. Because like, if you say something, you don't just have to just act jealous. Maybe you have to wait for me. Like you ask, what's going on? You know. All right. Yeah. So you should control yourself. What about you? Ah, I love a woman that acts jealous. <laughs> Shows she's in love. I don't like a woman who is going to be controlling. She's going to hurt my ass. <laughs> Alright. You think a woman that is jealous obviously means she's in love? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, that's how love is. That's how courtship should be, you know. Yeah, even in the animal kingdom. Oh, animal. Yeah, a lioness doesn't control a lion's den. That's cool. Yeah. Do you enjoy kissing? Hmm. I love kissing. Ooh! I like that. What about you? I love it. I could do it all day. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And if you're a beautiful woman, my spec, anytime I see you, I just want to kiss those lips. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> so tell me, shut on or shut off during sex? Shut off or shut on? During sex, yeah. Mm. I think shut off. Shut off? Yeah. Oh, that's great. I like that. And one last question. Do you remember how your first orgasm felt like? Or like in your own. You don't remember? I don't remember. I'm too busy to work with that. Does that mean you get it often? No. Then how come you don't remember? Suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another question. <laughs> how long was your shortest relationship? My shortest relationship? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like one year something. One year? Yeah, one year. Okay. Shows your patient. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Always give time. All right. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. When you lose? Okay. What about you? Um, few months. Few months are no months. A uh, few months. Be precise. Three months. Three months. It means you don't have patient. No, 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 no. If I don't feel the energy, I give up. Really? Because time is money, yeah. Ah. And time wasted can never be refunded. The fact that you're wasting time doesn't mean you're not working. Oh, okay. You, still, you can still be like, be patiently waiting for your partner while you're working, while you're hustling for the money. It doesn't stop you from hustling, you know? All right. Have you ever cheated in any of your relationships? Let me not lie. I have cheated once. You have cheated? Once. Once. I you know. That's suspicious. I regret it. Once a cheater is always a cheater. We know that rule. You know, you can say that like, if you have a boyfriend that is not like, like doesn't have your time, he will make like one week without talking to you. He doesn't invite you over, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. What do you expect? Like he always has excuses. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm. Busy. Did you try to talk to him about he it? Try talking in countless times. So why did you not break up? So you decided to cheat. So does that mean if what issues you're just going to cheat or you're going to talk without me out? Issues. It's not any kind of issues. It's something like. I have been patiently, like, always asking questions, but he always give me excuses, like, you know, so... Okay. Monogamy or polygamy? Monogamy. What about I like to have many wives. What about him? Mm. You have to have three wives. Yeah, polygamy. You can't have me alone. Really? Yeah, I have... may be too much for you alone to handle. Okay, <laughs> three wives. Yeah, two, three could be good, yeah. <laughs> All right, so, um... One last question. How many boyfriends have you had? I told you I was going to answer that in private. Okay. All right. That's fine. And the last one. Yeah. Will you have sex with me on the first date? No. Okay. Why did you just spy me at first? No. You're scared to look at me. No, why would I be scared to look at you? You look beautiful. Can I feel it, man? You too. Huh? Yeah, that's you. nice. Nice meeting you. Wow, you sound beautiful and it's not so different from what I see. Me too. I think so. Yeah. funny. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we're here. Stephanie. Yeah? Is <laughs> this song the person you were expecting to see? Yeah, definitely. 
Oh, really? Yeah, I got the person I was expecting to say. Uh, okay. I'm surprised to see you. Mm. Surprised? Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. I love your tattoos, by the way. <sighs> Thank you. Okay. I hope you love people with tattoos because I they always think that they're yeah. bad boys. My own. I love the tattoos. Okay. This song is definitely the person you were expecting to see. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's fine. She's fine. She's a fine girl. Beautiful. I love uh, her size. Do you do sports? I love sports. You love sports because I do too. They're mm, beautiful. Thank you. Stephanie, would you like to go on a second date with Bisom? Yeah, I would definitely like to go on a second date with you. Why? Because he's the one I was expecting to see. Mm -hmm. Like, he's my spec. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we would like to go to a date anywhere I take it to. Mm. We'll see about that. Okay. So, would you like to go on a second date with Stephanie? Yeah, I would like to take you on a second date if you're not scared of surprises. <laughs> uh, the way you speak, I think that she was scared. Really? Yeah. Uh, I like, I like, I like, um, I like new things. I like hidden things. Yeah, because yeah, I like good things. Mm. I hope I don't get too shocked, though. Ah, oh, you enjoy it. Ah, oh, yeah, you're gonna enjoy it. Mm. Problem. Stephanie. Yes. I think I will give you guys updates, like, mm. like testimony, like if it goes well. Hopefully, it does. Mm. Definitely, I would. Okay. This one. That's interesting. Well, I like everything to, to, to become discreet, private. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay. Mm, yeah. Oh. Respectfully. <laughs>